Hi everyone and welcome to SWPL My Story Short and today we are joined by Motherwell's Amy Anderson. How are you Ando? I'm good, thank you. Uh, thanks so much for, for coming on and having a chat with us. So we're going to get right into it. A uh, bit of a mixed start to the season for Motherwell, probably the inconsistency being, being the biggest uh, point of frustration for you. But just what is the mood like in the camp uh, around the, your opening part of the season? Uh, yeah, Martin, I would say probably we've been inconsistent is the, the main word for us at the moment. Um, the mood's still good. We still believe we can obviously turn things around when, one week we're, we're flying. I obviously done the United game and then last week against Hearts was, was really disappointing. But no, the mood's still good. We're, we're sticking together. I think that's the main thing when, when things are not going your way. Yeah, I think uh, off the back of last season, you, you finished the season really strongly, really good run in the cup as well. Um, everyone they probably thought that you would kick on from there. You have, you have strengthened well as well. You haven't lost many key players, if any mm-hmm. at all, but you have brought in quality to add to that. But it just seems it's weak around. One week you will win, and then next week you will drop points that you should that you probably shouldn't have been dropping. Uh, but there is a, a a really good core of a squad there. It's just trying to get it to click. That's it. On paper, obviously, individual wise, we're we're probably like good enough to be obviously in the top six at the moment. Um, but it just doesn't seem to be be clicking. Um, unsure what that is because we're working really hard in the training part. Paul's obviously giving his detail about the opposition each week, just the same. But I just hopefully after this international break, we we do kick on. Yeah, the international breaks probably came came at a good time for you and um, to get in and regroup as we were, we were discussing before we came on there, it's been quite a fragmented first half of the season with mm-hmm. so many international breaks. There's another one um, at the end of November and December as well, but it probably allows Paul and the, and the coaching staff to set short-term targets so you're maybe only getting four or five games at a time before there's another break, but the probably the position that you are in at the moment, it, it's, coming, it's coming at a good time. Yeah, I'd say so. Um, obviously, actually, this week we've, he's gave us a week off uh, just to basically reflect and obviously hopefully come back more fresher, I suppose. Um, I but the games we've got after that national break, it's games that we need to win. Uh, it's teams round about us. So we're going into every game after that national break, definitely wanting the three points each game. So something I wanted to speak to you about, uh, when you did sign for Motherwell, it was, it was quite a big story coming out from the club, uh, a club that you've supported all your life season ticket holder for the, going to all the all the men's games for years with your family. But when you, you got that call to that Motherwell were interested in you, I'm sure it was uh it was a no brainer. It was it was one that you wanted to take. But how did that feel when you pulled on the Claret and Amber and you got to go and play for the team that you've supported and you have played it mm-hmm. at Fur Park uh, quite a few times as well. That must be some mm-hmm. proud moment for you and your family. Yeah, definitely. I think Obviously, you know, my dad, like, uh, he's, he's my little daft as well. So he was he was dead proud. It was an emotional time as well. Um, also, I didn't want to leave Aki's. Um, after five years, I wanted to keep building. And because I got them up to the top league, I wanted to obviously help them let's stay there. Um, I've been playing with Motherwolf. I was a captain a few times, played at first Park, scored goals. Like, I, I, couldn't have, I couldn't have asked for much more. It's almost like we planned that there when you say you've scored goals. One thing that I wanted to talk about, <laughs> and I know that we've spoken about it, and it's not, uh, it's it's maybe not something that's, that's done very much mm-hmm. when you've had such a heavy defeat, you're losing five one at the weekend. But your goal was unbelievable. Um, there was loads of talk about it on Twitter. Uh, I think the the league have retweeted it. They were talking about mm-hmm. it on the highlights show. But um, that's something that you've got in your locker. But uh, must have was that one of those that when it left your foot, you knew that that was going in. I actually did. Um, I only say I ever scored volleys. My very first goal for Mill was a was a half volley as well. Um, but on Sunday, I the result was disappointing. And obviously, when I scored to to make it two one, it gave the team and me what bit I left, and we were on top. Um, a wee bit after that, and obviously Hearts got their, their third goal before half time. It kind of killed the game off. But it's not. I only ever seem to score scored good goals to be honest. And well. not very often either. <laughs> no, that, that, when you're scoring goals like that, you don't need to score that many. Uh, so now, since you went into Motherwell and then Paul came in and he's obviously uh, got Leanne in with him as well, how much are you learning off of Leanne? Obviously, unbelievable career that, that she's had and she's went and 
won trophies everywhere played that she's played she's played down south played at world cups uh, is that something that you're really uh, tapping into and learning off of her and taking on board the information that she's given you definitely and obviously leanne is a, a center mid she always even before games um she always tell us to you just can control the game today like just giving you wee tips like what players to look out for etc but i leanne she was actually the first signing before me before Morrow, so i knew the the profile that Leanne had, the the way Paul wanted to progress my all forward by adding Leanne to the, the playing uh, the playing team as well, like as well as the coaching team, but no, her and Leanne uh, her and Paul are very, very good. So now you're going to have this international break. You say that you've been given as as a squad some time to reflect on on the first part of the season. We're going into the turnaround now. You're going to be playing the return fixtures of the ones that you've played in the first half. Yep. What are the, the short-term goals? I know you touched on it slightly there. Um, mm-hmm. For the team between now and Christmas? Um, well, obviously, the, the game has just passed. They'll be finished on like, 12 points for the first round of fixtures. So I think basically just going into this next round and, and after the international break, just picking up more points than we did the previous round. Um, also, we had disappointing results against like Aberdeen the first game of the season, so we want to be beating them. Uh, we've got Montrose soon as well, so we want to put our, our authority back on them because they obviously beat us in the cup just recently. Um, yeah, so we just want to be coming out flying. Obviously, we've got Rangers before before Christmas as well, but right, I'm sure we'll make a good account of ourselves. No, that's that's great, Amy, and thanks so much for joining us today and all the best for the rest of the season. Thank you, Martin. Cheers. And thanks, everyone, for joining us on SWPL My Story Short.